Cairngorms Connect, it's a partnership of Nature Scott, uh, Forestry Land Scotland, RSPB Scotland and Wildland Limited uh, across 60,000 hectares of the Cairngorms uh, working towards a 200 year landscape scale habitat restoration output. Here we're in Forestry Land Scotland in Shreich Forest uh, next to the Alt of Arky Burn and we're looking at a, a river restoration project that we carried out this summer. So the Alt of Arky Burn uh, comes out of Inverashi National Nature Reserve, comes down and, and flows through the, the plantation area of, of Inverashi Forest and then uh, in the early 1800s it was straightened uh, to help with log floating. By canalising it and deepening the channel, you sort of take it away from the floodplain. It can't uh, interact with its floodplain as, as it used to, more naturally. Uh, and you also end up with a relatively, uh, sort of, a very similar shallow uh, flat bed. So it loses its interest from a, a, a fish point of view as well as fish habitat. We were appointed as principal contractors by Cairngorms Connect. And so we were looking at doing all of the groundworks across this project. The project's been uh, designed around two key components, uh, the first being the re-wiggling of an otherwise straightened watercourse and it's also about the installation of large wood structures throughout the remainder of the watercourse. We identified the work that had to be done um, through a combination of, of site surveys and, and drone surveys uh, and started to look at the use of uh, large wood structures um, in the channel, a uh, combination of root plates added into the bank of the, the, the river to create sort of changes in bed depth and uh, lateral erosion into the banks and also features within the old straightened section. The large wood structures are all made with um, free issue timber courtesy of Forest Land Scotland. Uh, so we knew that um, timber harvesting and cross-cutting wasn't in our uh, remit, so we subcontracted out to Stephen Blair, uh, a local contractor, a local tree surgeon, who had the skills necessary to do it. So there were several large principal, uh, large structures that were designed so that they would redirect the water out of the existing uh, water channel course uh, and into the new course that we had dredged. And those were constructed in such a way that they could withstand spate flow events, uh, but also allowed water to percolate through uh, and so that the existing water course would still be active in some way, shape or form. This should hopefully slow the flow of water throughout this area and thus reduce the amount of sediment that's washed through and increase the amount that's deposited within the channel. Um, this should in turn uh, lift the, the river bed or lift the river level up so that it's more connected with the floodplain on either side. Uh, the water should in spate events flow out of the channel and into the floodplain, activating the floodplain as it should. It's worked perfectly. Uh, straight away we, we created the, um, the opportunity for the water to move into the relic channel uh, and uh, it now looks almost as like it's been there all along.